But I'm here in Brescia in northern Italy and you're there at home in front of the telly so let's crack on with another edition of Gazzetta Football Italia. Wagwan people, we are back. It's Pro Vicelli. it's episode 32, it's Sunday morning and we are at the crunch time of the season. So we have the second leg against Inter Milan, we have four Serie A games. Will we qualify for Europe? Will we qualify for the Coppa Italia final? We'll all find out in this episode, so let's crack on with the crack on. And we're kicking things off straight away against Udinese. We then play Inter Milan, um, I do believe we've got Cagliari, Empoli and Monza in this episode, so you never know, we could finally get the perfect episode where we win five games out of five. If we do, we'll be in a final, and we'll definitely be in some kind of European competition next season. Like I said, the main aim was to get at least Conference League uh, in our second season in Serie A, try and get into Europe. The board wanted mid-table in Europe next season. Can we do a season early? So let's pick things up. Let's go. So Udinese away from home can always be a... A bit of a banana skin for most teams. But we have been on such good form at the moment. We've had such bad spells. Little good spells and ridiculously bad spells again. We were hitting good form right at the crunch point of the season. Header from Loverich. Oh my goodness, from distance. What's the guy doing, man? They're taking liberties in here. But yeah, if we can hit a good form towards the end now. And it always happens, like I said. Maybe because we make so many signings in the summer. It takes a while for the boys to gel. But here's Valentini. Ball inside. Salcedo Jr. Oh, beautiful near post shot. Salcedo Jr. <laughs> like I said before, I didn't rate him too much when I got him. I thought, you know what? He's a good backup for Maggio and Esposito. But this guy has come good towards the end of the season. And his value has gone up as well. So you know what that means. I'm going to sell him. <laughs> Maybe not. You never know. I might keep him. You never know. We'll see how we go. All right. Nice little long ball here. Headed down. Parodi. Parodi again is another one I think we'll probably let go. It's only really Parodi and, oh my god, Niang left from the original team. And Sassi, stop him. Oh my <laughs> What a goal. Another game, another long distance bloody rifle shot. I mean, come on, man. Everyone's got absolute right foot of four in this game. Okay, 1-1 one, one here. Come on, what a perfect episode. We can't be dropping points in the first game. California. Good nasty drop back like nobody's business. Fazzini, nice little ball inside. Niang. Niang spin move. Can Niang get two goals in two games? Niang's all the way. <laughs> this is normal Niang's normal shooting there. Nice done, Bianco. Longo. Zappa. Teddy Cano. Oh my goodness, don't mess about in there with it. Chimmy Avilia. Parodi with the step forward. Abdul Samid, nicely done, Niang. See, all of a sudden, I think the players know they're playing for their. Shirts at the moment because, like I said, normally sell players towards the end of the season. Teddy Cano's in. Can we make it 2 1? Oh, I'm about to say he can. How did Terry Cano miss that? Into the second half now. Bianco with another header. Nicely done. Maggio. I see the thing. I've got two Biancos. I mean, one of them is a 68 rated youngster, so he plays the other end of the pitch. It's not too bad. Here's Zappa. He's had a great season as Zappa as well. Zappa all the way. Lays it back across. Oh, deflected wide. Could have been an OG. Here come Udinese again. Chimia Avilia. Easy for long go. We'll collect that all day long. All right. Nice throw out. Let's go. Zappa. Hit the line. Beautiful. Here's Teddy Cano as well. Really good season for him as well. Ball inside. Nicely done. Niang. Get the ball out of your feet. Niang. We've got a guy on the back stick. Niang lays back across though. Sacedo Jr. Oh, saved. Surely Maggio. <laughs> Scrambled in. But Matteo Maggio, who is going for the top goal scorer. I still not find out what it's called, the top goal scorer in Italy. But he's going for that golden boot, should we say. Gets another goal. Nicely done. 2 1. So I reckon, what was it? It's a three wins out of four in this episode in the league. I think we'd probably have Europa League maybe wrapped up. Maggio, nicely done. Inside, Valentini. Seal it, Valentini. He can. Yes, the Youth Academy prospect seals it. Beautiful. Rocket man. I mean, look at the size of geezer. How on earth is he 17 years old? This guy's eating spinach and steroids for breakfast. Don't even get me wrong, man. Let's hope we don't get piss tested, but it's it, it, Italy, you can get away with anything over here, it's okay. Alright, 3-1 up. The game looks comfortable now, we've just got to see it out. Like I say, defensively we've always got a conceded goal in us. Niang, nicely done, beautiful ball out wide, Teddy Cano. 
Sericano, can he finish it? Lays it back across. Long go off the bench. It's four. But, but, but. And he has, like I said, he has been a good sign in January. Three transfers, 72 rated. Uh, he plays a lot better than 72, to be fair. And Longo, again, who's supposed to be 17 or 18 years old with a beard and hair like that, I do not think so. Guy looks like Justin Timberlake uh, before the 90s. Uh, right, no, just oh, what are you doing, Fazzini? Come on, get there, get there, get there. Nicely done, Fazzini. Got run. Oh, who the hell's making that long run? Is it Yangen? Valentini. Let's go. 4 1 at the moment. We're playing comfortable. Long go. Zanotti. Oh my goodness, he's leaving his men for dead. Where are they going? Zanotti. Zanotti! Oh, Golazo Zanotti! The backup right back with a left Pegasus from hell. Oh my goodness. 5 1. Take a boost and what a goal. We are just playing for fun at the moment. This is three points in the bag. What a start. It looked a bit uh, suspect going into the second half, but we've come into the second half and absolutely bombarded Udinese. Here's Nia again now. Ten minutes to go. Fazzini. Does he fancy one from distance? Fazzini! Oh, good save by Fournier. Right, corner ball. What the hell was that? Have we got like a football from Scarborough? What the hell was that little beach ball thing? And one of them plaggy flyaway balls. What the hell? Well, that's it. A 5-1 win to start the episode off. Oh, I'm feeling good, brothers. I'm feeling good. We go into the Inter Milan second leg in good form. Long go. Like I said, that guy needs passport checking. All right, we're currently in the Europa League spot. We're only two points behind Napoli, but as you can see, we're only six ahead of Bologna, so we need to keep them wins going. Four games to go. Three wins, I think, definitely guarantees... Well, th yeah, three wins does guarantee us Europe. All right, let's go. Inter Milan. Again, I have to make many a change. Maggio is still... Upset, then happy. Upset, then happy. It's not looking good because he's going to uh, ask him for a transfer request. I can tell already. And I've seen it before in his games. It's annoying though because the brother plays nearly every league game. But I have to rotate. We're playing every two days. And his brother cannot fathom the fact that he might have to rest sometimes. I mean, come on, man. Don't let me get your mama down here to tell you. But here we go. Biggest game of the season. Inter Milan's second leg. So at the Giuseppe Miazza. Or oh, San Siro they're putting here. I know one names it one way and one names it the other. But 2-2 two -two from the first leg in Vercelli. Can we reach the final? And again, we do. We have mixed results against Inter Milan. They've hammered us, obviously, the first season in Serie A. This season, we've done better against them. Uh, including beating them 4-1 at our place in the league. But can we do it? We have a full fit team. Hopefully, Inter Milan have some tired legs out there. But can we reach the Coppa Italia final against Juventus or Napoli? Alright, here's Kalawalski. Nicely done, Kasady. Get rid of it, get rid of it. Did Kasady come from Inter Milan to, uh, to Chelsea? I think he did. We've got him and Salcedo Jr., I think both former Inter Milan players. Nice little turn in there, I like it a lot. Can we send him? We can, beautiful. Zappa. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You're on your own, Zappa, you're on your own. But I'm about to take it by yourself, Zappa lays it back across. Surely Profunde! Oh, it got caught on his feet. <laughs> Off the post. And back to Radu's hands. Should have taken an earlier chance. Oh my goodness, Esposito. Inter Milan are good at those straight down the middle balls. Taram, nicely done. Good, it could be a play we look at. Oh my goodness. Marcus Taram again, let's see if we can afford him. Taram, back inside. Esposito. Oh, what are the three? Is it three brothers of Esposito in, in the football tally now? Uh, we have one. Inter Milan still have one. We're 1 0 down. 3 2 down on aggregate. Alright, it's a long way to go. Come on, brothers. We can. We know we can score past Inter Milan. We know we can do this. Just got to make sure we don't push too many men forward. Oh my goodness. He's offside, surely. Kowalski's in. Kowalski's in. Oh, long go with the save off his left nut. Oh my. Sacrificed his own kids to keep us in the game. How on earth he want offside? I don't know. All right, Pafunde. Come on. We need to create some chances now. Maggio. There's some magic off him. Nicely done. Lazy Pafunde. Can we lay it back across? Esposito. Oh. It's both Esposito brothers trying to get goals in this game. Fabian with the interception. Pafunde, come on, we're growing stronger in this game now. Come on, we know we can do this. Pafunde again, let's go. Maggio wants it back. Pafunde cuts inside to Maggio. Maggio spin moves. Maggio, Maggio! Oh, what a save by Radu. I thought Magic Man might have done it for us. Keller Show. Inside, Maggio. Oh, gets blocked out again. Here's Radu. Goes for a long clearance. Can we winners? Have we got winners? Oh my goodness, you got underneath the ball. Esposito heads it down to Miller. I still can't get over the fact that Miller's played him. Oh, what a challenge, Bianco. Let him know. You're in Italy now, brother. Keller Show. Send him. Send him. Cassidy. Let's go. Let's go. 
Into Milan, back line, not going anywhere near you. Take a shot, man. Casady oh, should have been on target at least. Doesn't know. Oh, here we go, Profunde. Still 1 0 down, 3 2 down on aggregate. I don't think away goals count in any competition anymore in uh, any game. Send him, send him. Oh, you should have sent him through. Nice little line inside, though. Zappa. Can we find anyone? Cut back. Back inside. Cassady. Cassady. There it is. 1 1. Let's go. Let's go. 25 minutes to play. We're back in it. 3 3 in aggregate. 1 1 on the night. The former Inter Milan man, I do believe. You may probably correct me in the comments down below, but. Uh, Finds the equaliser, Kasady again, what a game he's having. Send a brother, send a brother, you got the guy running in front of you. Get out of my damn way. There we go, beautiful. Kelesho, Kelesho with the pace. Kelesho, back inside. Esposito, it's got time. Oh, too much bloody time. Come on, man, get your shot off. Final 20 minutes now. <laughs> Squeaky bum time in this game now. Ball outside, beautiful. Kelesho, come on, Kelesho got the pace. Cuts inside, onto his left. Pegasus, near post, he's in. <laughs> Keller Shaw makes it 2-1 with 18 minutes to go. Pro Vicelli did that headbutt in the bloody corner flag. What's wrong with you, boy? Oh, my goodness. Oh, can we keep on doing it? Come on, 10 minutes to go. Maggio, short corner. Kill him off. Kill him with the no. Inside. Kill him with the no. Fumiano, what the hell are you doing up there? Oh, what the hell? You just collapsed, man. Guy got epilepsy halfway through it. What are you doing? Get up. Zaleab. Oh, Zaire Emery. Come on, Bookman. Don't let him out. Don't let him out. Close him down. Uh, nicely done, Miller gives away the ball, Fazidi, inside, long goal, oh, spin move, beautiful, back outside, Pafunde, surely, Pafunde, what the hell, you better uh, have some kind of Jesse Lingard pigeon crapped in your mouth kind of situation going on there, how the hell did you miss that, come on, last few minutes now, we just got to hold on to the ball, launch it, oh, you let it go out for a throw in, you numbnuts, oh my goodness, the Lewis, Certidema, Okay, who are half of these players that Milan have got? Oh, Colo Moane. No. Ball is uh, get there, get there. Oh, what a challenge. Oh, ah! <laughs> scared the sh <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Bianca with a challenge. Longo dropped it. But we're through. We're in the Coppa Italia final, brothers. In your face, Simone Inzaghi. In your face. Fumiano. Provacelli. Oh my goodness, we will face Juve or Napoli. Oh, Keller Show with the winner. We're in the final, brothers, and we're going to face... Ah, Juventus. They won on pens. So, Scudetto winners Juventus versus Provacelli. I think the Juventus have won the Scudetto now. All right, let's press on. All right. So, we're in the Coppa Italia final. Big up Provacelli against Juventus. It will be a tough one. Um, so, now we have another, what, three games in this? Three league games? So, four league games in total. So next week now will be the Coppa Italia final. So next weekend will be the final episode of this season and then the start of next season because uh, now we have Juve uh, and Atalanta to play next week. So we've still got uh, Empoli, Monza and Cagliari. So we're three games away now from a perfect episode. These are all potential nightmare games, but in theory... Pythagoras theorem, This should we should win these three games. These should be three games and we should finally get a perfect episode. And if we do, it is the best time to get a perfect episode because it means we will have European football no matter what next season and we can go into the cup finals trying to win a trophy. So let's get it. Empoli, let's go. All right, come on. Empoli at home. Like I said, this should be three points in the bag, but we know these uh, lower league teams could be a nightmare. We need to do something early. Niang. Oh my goodness, what the hell is Nian going? Nian's been drinking Red Bull. Ball inside. Salcedo Jr. Oh, <laughs> four minutes in. Let's go. Oh, honestly, let me know down below. You guys play EA or FIFA. What the hell do you bloody call it nowadays? Um, Form is massive on this game. I, I play other games, football games, and form goes into it, but they've got more of an algorithm thing going on. But in, you don't think it in EA, but I've, honestly, you win games and the boys are confident to hell. You lose games and they can't do a dookie thing. Here's Shipendi. Touch inside. Perodi tries to block it. Grassi. Like I said, Empoli is still dangerous. And Grassi again. Longo hits the side net. Him will take that all day long. Here's Pazella. 23 minutes in. All of a sudden, Empoli, who are... I don't think they're relegated. I think it's Frizoin, Cremonese. And it could be Empoli, to be fair. Calvo. Is that Calvo that was played for us for a little bit? Inside. Grassi. Oh, Longo. What a save. That guy went back to 1986. 
He traveled back in time. What the hell was that about? Grassy. Like I said, Calvo again. Shipendi. What the, what the hell? It, this is scramble football. Shipendi from distance. Long goal. <laughs> the bar. What the hell's going on with Empoli? They're trying to end our European dreams. California. We need a second goal. Come on. Eight minutes till half time. Touch. Spin move. Long goal. Inside. Sarsejo Junior. Off the post. I thought that was it. Terricano. I got the rebound. What the hell am I doing? I let go of my damn controller. All right. Into the second half. Let's go. Lombardi. Nice done, skipped inside. Oh, Lomb what the hell? Lombardi looking like, oh my goodness, Lombardi looking like Robert Carlos. Robert Carlos, what the hell am I talking about? Robert Carlos, Valentini, Valentini, Rocket Man. Oh, call this guy Elton John. He always has the rocket sign above him. Rocket Man. Oh my goodness. He's even got hair like Elton John, to be fair, so that's his new nickname now. Elton John in the building. All right, 2 0 up. That early goal was scored early. Oh, oh my, Bianco again. What a sign. And this guy's been ball inside. To his compatriot Bianco, could be his cousin, could be his sister, could be his postman. Bianco, oh, would have been beautiful. Just slipped at the wrong moment. His Valentini man, Rocket Man, Elton John. Let's go. Kind of rocket was that, bro? Stokovic. Here's Grassi. What the hell? The guy's just kick and rush. Grassi again. Close him down. That's a beautiful ball in. Whipped in long goal. Ooh. I've seen them flick on headers going before. His Gassi. We don't want to give Empoli a doorway through. Come on. Closing down. Oh my goodness. Kovanic. Ball inside. Caputo. All the time in the world. But Longo again. My goodness. This keeper's keeping in it this season. That's 13 minutes. I have to admit. Empoli probably deserve a draw really. They have absolutely peppered on us. Oh, so everyone's doing a little Michael Jackson spin moves now. Gassi. Ball inside again. Empoli are in again. Longo. Oh, I thought it was an OG. Stop clapping! You shouldn't have to even make the save. If you're making the save, somebody else has made a mistake before that. Oh my goodness. Calvo's got all the time. Okay. Yeah, just inviting round, you know what I mean? Don't take your shoes off. Just walk straight from my kitchen. What the hell defending was that? Right, let's keep possession. Last few minutes now. This should not even be as close as it is, but Empoli have played a brilliant game. What the hell? Ah! Get away from me. <laughs> we are so suspect at the back. That's it, Longo. Just keep hold of it. Hoof it. Surely that's it, referee. That's it. Thank goodness for that. Woo! There's always one team that tries to break the perfect episode. And Empoli with that team now. But hey, we've got the three points. Right, let's have a look now. We are third. Joint second. The goal difference is better. Maybe Inter have got a better record. We beat Inter 4-1 though. What the hell is that about? We've won more games than them. Maybe it's because we've lost more. Anyway, we are nine points ahead of Bologna. With three games to go. So one more point guarantees some kind of European competition. Yeah, Empoli near the bottom. What the ras? Okay. Monza and Cagliari to go. <sighs> Two wins. Like I said, can we get a champion? I mean, if we get Champions League, I mean, that's even better. We, like I said, we can go into the cup final, not stressing about Europe. We can actually go and win the trophy just for having a trophy, trophy sake, if that makes sense. But let's go. Monza, again, another banana skin. I can't believe Empoli were second bottom and they nearly hammered us. And they've got Ben Rama going on in this building. They've got Ryan Gold as well. I remember he used to be a wonder kid back in the day. At, uh, was it Hearts or something? They went to sport in Lisbon. And then uh, I thought he was working in Tesco's. But obviously this guy is uh, <laughs> he's in Italy, chilling out. All right, come on, boys. Two more wins. Perfect episode. Come on, let's go. Saki needs it. Put some suntan lotion on that bald head, man. Oh my goodness, burning like a crisp up there. Let's get rid of it, come on. Keller Show. The hell is this guy sliding? Oh no, 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 Fumiano. Mancunios inside. Gold! Oh, I, I disrespected the Tesco's work. He's, <laughs> he's done me over like, oh my goodness. He was offside, referee. Ryan Gold makes it 1 0 Monza. Uh, this could be the banana skin I was talking about. We never make a perfect episode all season. Come on, Perfunde. Let's go. I don't think we've ever had a bloody clean sheet episode either. California. Ball inside. Oh my goodness. It's got all the time in the world. Esposito. Blocked out. But Maggio's there. Let's go. Maggio. Let's go. Maggio. Come on. Another goal towards that golden boot. And more importantly, an instant reply. All right. Let's go. Cassidy. 23 goals in 32 matches. How can you be annoyed? You played 32 Serie A games. Zappa. Oh, beautiful. Wait for him to go offside. Perfunde's there. Perfunde! Oh, good save. Cragno. Oh, I suppose I can't get the rebound. 
Short corner here for Monza. Suzlov. Cuts back inside. Don't even cross it. No cross. Come on, get close. Oh, my. This guy's Chris Brown. What the hell's going on? Guys are like Prince out there. Kapari back inside. Ben Rama. Don't let him shoot from distance. We cannot defend long distance shots. Gold inside. Kapari. Off the post and in. Oh, can we not defend anything? This could be the banana skin game I was talking about. It really could. Oh, man. Right, 2-1 down. Come on. They're most vulnerable when they have scored. Touch outside. Nice. Keller show. Come on. Monza is sleeping. And while Monza is sleeping, Maggio be creeping. Yes, Maggio. Yes. Oh, my goodness. The saviour of Provocelli. 2-2. Two -two. It's not the bloody first half. Oh, get up, man. I didn't touch him, ref. Nice throwing, I'm going to say. Copani, come on. Let's go. Cassidy, Esposito. We're really quiet this episode so far. Keller Show. Keller Show, go all the way. Drive all the way, drive. Ball inside. Maggio, surely for the hat trick. <laughs> My man, Maggio. <sighs> what a guy. We finally lead against Monza 3 2. It's still the bloody first half, and there's been five goals. It's like a relegation battle, it's like a six pointer. Why can we not defend? Keller Show. It's been moving nicely done. Left Zapper on his own. Touch inside Cassidy. Ball inside. Esposito surely. Oh, sold the keeper a dummy. It's 4 2. Why was I even panicking? Why was I sweating? These boys have been on good form. I trust them. I wasn't worried at all. Not one bit. I was not worried. Not at all. Not now. Nah, nah, I'm fine. I was cool as a cucumber. Oh, referee! Zapper's damn ankles right in front of Saki as well. I can see his bald head from here. My goodness, the sun is shining off his head, glistening and blinded about 18 fans. Keller Show, nicely done. The guy didn't even get booked. Ball inside, Maggio inside, Esposito onside, 5-2. Yes, brothers. Bit like the Udinese game. I wasn't calm, I wasn't, I wasn't calm, I was calm. <laughs> I was calm all along. We knew it. Don't touch Esposito's damn hair, man. He looks like a packet of noodles, man. That thing come clean off his head. Right, 5-2, let's go. Let's punish Monza now for even thinking about beating us. Esposito from distance gone. Oh, Maggio. Beautiful. Maggio. Maggio! Oh, that would have been beautiful. Kragner would have said, What the hell is going on with Saki? The guy just morphed into a damn fence. Right, Maggio. Beautiful. Look at Monza now. They're all over the place. Looking at an under eights team on a Sunday. Come on, let's go. Perfunde. Ball inside. Cassidy. Oh, what a save. Oh, keeps it out. 18 minutes to go. Headed out by Perfunde. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Get your booty out of my way. Oh, beautiful done. Ball inside. Lombardi. The left back. Where's this guy coming from? Lombardi. Go back and tell that guy to get up and get out. What on earth was he slide tackling in our half for? Yes. Domination across the nation leads to European qualification. Right, nicely done. Lombardi, first goal in 21 matches. That's beautiful. 6 2 here against Monza. Terry Cano. Come on, can we make it 7? The crowd are wanting seven, even though it's the home crowd. A Wooney to gold. Oh my goodness. Oh, come on. Where's the marking? Kapar is in. Oh, long go. My man. Seven or eight goals in this episode already. This episode, this match. Pesina. Oh, what a block. The ankle puts his body on the line. Could have broke his ankle. Kapari. Kapari again. Ball inside. Pesina. Come on. Don't proceed another one. Ah, long go. Nicely done. There we go. 6-2 win, brothers. Four wins out of five so far. Ooh, four wins out of four so far. We've got the fifth coming up. Can we have a perk of this? So come on. Come on. Right, let's have a look. Surely we have qualified for Europe. Let's have a look. So we're now in fourth. We are eight points ahead of Bologna. We are in Europe next season, boys and girls. Yes, yes, yes. We are four points ahead of Milan with two games to go. One more win. And we've got at least Europa League football. We're not going to be in conference football, which I do not know what it is. Uh, I know it's on a Thursday night and you usually end up in the middle of Uzbekistan playing some team that have got three goats as a left back. But that's what it is. OK, we're going to move on to the last game. We've got Cagliari at home. Another W. Let's go. All right, let's go. A half turn the train to LAX to five wins in an episode. Come on, can we do it? Can we get five wins in this episode? Five wins out of five and finally break the curse. It wasn't really a curse. It was just crap players. 
But we've got Cagliari next. Claudio Ranieri, he's still managing them. Claudio Ranieri just celebrated his 104th birthday in our series, but it is what it is. Uh, again, I have to swap around. Maggio is pissed again because I'm not playing him. But we have the final in a couple of days. What I, what's a guy supposed to do? Play you in this game and he'll be dead for the final? Um, so the final episode of the season, strangely enough, has the cup final first, then Atalanta. So I might play them both in editing round. I might just play the cup final. And then, yeah, I, I might just play it as it is and go as it is there. Um, but, yeah. Because you probably see me crying. If we lose the cup final, I'll just be crying the full Atlanta game before you've even watched it. Like, ah. <laughs> so I might just do the cup first. Uh, right, Ranieri. Let's go. Look at that now. We had, I mean, even then, look at that. Look how tight it is. We can go to fifth. We can go to third even. I think second might be out of the touching distance now, Longo. But the second string team, I think, can do a good business. Salcedo Jr. Salcedo Jr. <laughs> I want to meet Senior and shake his hand. Salcedo Jr. Let's go, brother. Again, oh, my goodness. He has been a good player this season for us. The only thing about us is, like I so, because we're doing so well, we're having bids left, right, and center. Salcedo Jr. is in again. Good save. Um, from like from Milan and Lazio and Napoli. They're all trying to get our players now. Because I think we found hidden gems, which we have. But it's actually my good management. Here comes Elton John. Inside. Long goal! <laughs> it's 2 0. <-nil. laughs> yes! 28 minutes in. We are 60 minutes away from a perfect episode. Surely now even I can't bollocks this up. Surely not. Let's go. Come on. No doubt we'll concede at least one goal. Let's go. That's why we need at least four or five. We've scored some mad goals in this game. Niang. What's he doing? What's he doing? Spin move. Nicely done. Long goal. Why not from distance? Why not from... Oh, long goal. Oh, why not? Why not? Oh, the post. <laughs> I still don't believe you're 18, though. Long goal again. Valentini. Come on, Elton John. Rocket man. Let's go. Rocket man. Oh, my goodness. How did, how does he turn like that? The guy is built like a rhino. Valentini. Oh, good save again. Come on, brothers. Niang. Touch outside. Zanotti. Ball inside again. Niang. Can't shoot for Dookie. Hit it. Fazzini. Oh, block through. Sassido Jr. Oh, footwork. Footwork. Oh, just can't shimmy his way through. Where the hell are you going? The goal's that way. Fazzini again. Play it through. Nicely done. Longo. Longo, surely. Oh, ho, ho. ah, he's offside. Who's the linesman? Who is it? Yeah, Berbatov. Thought or so. Looking like Dracula on crack. Let's go. Come on. 25 minutes to go. One more definitely gets us the perfect episode. I don't care. They're not coming back from 3 0 down. Niang! Good strike, though, from Niang. Valentini keeps it in, though. Lombardi! Oh! Why is with Lombardi shooting? The guy's a left back and scored. Well, he scored one goal. No, he scored two goals now, hasn't he? Oh, I'm thinking there's an off to you with that left foot actually strike on, man, in the other uh, episode of this game. I don't really know. Long go. Ah! Uh, oh, nicely done. Sacedo Jr. Let's go. Sassino Jr. Ball inside. Niang, finish it. Niang gets a goal. And that's it. I don't care now. I can put the controller down. 12 minutes to go. We have got a perfect episode. In the most crucial of episodes. I can't put the controller down, really. Let's be fair. Right. Four minutes to go. Come on. Let's hold on. Nicely done, Longo. Honestly, he's a bit of beast, as Longo. Ball inside. Longo again. Come on, Longo. Finish him off. Kill him with the now. Inside. Kill him with the no. Jump back up with the nap. No. Beautiful. Longo. Even though he does dye his hair. Yeah, I know. I've seen you. You're dying it with your mum's dye. Can't deny you've got ginger hair, brother. Just let it breathe, man. Let it breathe. All right. Be proud of it. All right. Let's go. Injury time now. Clean sheet as well. We have finally got our first perfect episode. Five wins out of five. Oh, there was a point halfway through this season where I nearly kicked the control out of the window and I thought screw this series I just cannot buy a win for love no money but we have done it brothers we are in Europe and we're in a cup final okay so we have got 72 points we are joint with Inter Milan we are now two ahead of Napoli but we are seven ahead of Milan so we have got definitely Europa League so a point Mm, I don't want to risk it. I don't know what's going on with the goal difference and stuff in this game because I should be ahead of Inter, really. So let's say a win guarantees a Champions League football. All right, brothers. All right. Uh, Maggio is top goal scorer in the league as well by two goals. Can he hold on to that? That's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. 
Uh, as he got a top assist as well. Um, no, Kasha has got two more than him. So, Juventus first. That's why I rested Maggio. Look, three, game, three days away. Uh, and then we've got Atalanta. So, Atalanta's always a tough game for us as well, isn't it? Mm, okay. But we've got Europe no matter what. I mean, now we're so close to Champions League. I kind of want Champions League. But, again, we'll take whatever we can. The players are growing thick and fast. We'll see what these guys are like when they come back next season. Whether we keep them out front of the loan or are we just cashing on them. There's not going to be much cash coming from them. But, it's still money in the coffers for, obviously, some kind of European trick. Because we're going to need a better squad next season regardless for Europe and the league because we want to make sure we qualify for Europe again next season or at least maybe have some kind of Scudetto challenge at least till January, February maybe keeping up with the boys then. Uh, that would be great next season. Top four is the aim next year. Definitely now we've hit Europe but it all depends on the budget and stuff like that but next weekend will be the final game of the season then the start of next season so hit that like button for me hit the subscribe button peace and love brothers and sisters and i'll see you at the cup final peace Take it